Now that the kids are at home so much more, we have upped the chores in that time where they're not on the school run, when we used to walk to and from school, I feel like they need to do a little bit more. And when I've given them more responsibility, they've really enjoyed that. So for instance, before they would help me pile up the dishwasher, but I can never let them turn it off. I don't know why. They're seven and 10 and uh, they know that the tablets you know they wouldn't ingest the tablet so therefore they can pop it in and i've shown them the buttons ditto with the washing machine these are life skills that our children and i feel a bit guilty should have known by now now yes let kids be kids but it's important for them to learn how to cook, not just bake, how to pop the dishwasher on, how to ping the microwave. I've been teaching Oliver 10 how to make a cup of tea. And it's these kind of milestone things that will carry them through their life. And right now is making them feel a little bit more grown up and responsible. So my next parenting tip would be on tech. Tech can affect children's sleep. It can affect the production of melatonin. It'll make them more irritable. I know with my children, um, my youngest isn't on tech very much, but my eldest can get quite excited about tech and before he knows it, he spent ages on there. So what we've done is we are being a lot more flexible. We're giving them both more time, but we are also saying to them it's not going to be just a continuous thing to come and ask us for permission they know that they've got a limit of two hours a day i think it's just important to have these boundaries and these limits so that while it's educational informative fun they also know that there's so much out there that's really important lived experience reading learning that doesn't always have to go back to being on a tablet apps for kids. Now we have been using loads of brilliant apps, whether it's Kiddy, which is a search engine for children or YouTube kids. So it's all age appropriate and they're not going to stumble on things that they shouldn't. Or something like Duolingo, which is a free app to help you with language skills. There are lots of languages you can choose from. I'm actually improving my written modern Greek. My kids are picking up with their French lessons on there. There's also BBC Bite Size with all their fun lessons and video content. They're uploading three, I believe, a day um, across lots of the um, subjects in the curriculum. You've also got um, Barefoot Program, which helps you pick up the computing skills. That's with BT and computing at schools. And it's a brilliant way to teach your children uh, computing skills and to upskill them during this period. There's so much on offer. So go and check out all the different things. I'll leave them in the comments so that you can check them out. Now, tech is an important part of children's learning and it's informative and educational, but it's really important that children are also reading and writing. And while that sounds really obvious, something that we've been doing lots of over the lockdown are reading, particularly classic books that I loved as a child, whether that's Narnia and the Secret Garden, various books, um, also being reading Harry Potter, and a real mixture of me also reading to my kids, but then them reading and mixing it up. And reading is so powerful, it's evocative, it lets them use their imagination, and it helps in every area of education. So it's important to have tech in their lives but also not forget about the wonder of books. It's really important to try and still have some fun. This is a really tricky time for many people, but if you're safe and well, you are one of the lucky ones and your children are relying on you to provide a bit of entertainment as well. So it doesn't mean you personally, but for us, we've got a projector, so we convert our lounge into a cinema at least once a week usually on a weekend the children get to pick films they often pick the same films that they love and we watch them as a family it's a really cute thing to do it's become like a family tradition for us i'm sure they're going to continue that on with their own children as well so think of ways that you can kind of create meaningful entertainment together board games uh, we love charades here snakes and ladders double we've even got harry potter double as well as a standard double just think of all the things that you really enjoy together playing cards or could you learn a new skill